If the theme announces the birth of Christ, sets out the stall as it were, the first variation introduces some of our cast of characters. Throughout, we have an ever-present lullaby, an offbeat ostinato lule motif of descending fifths and fourths that gets passed around various voices. The theme establishes itself as more than just a musical one, but almost as a leitmotif with the Jesu counter-subject. The text is from Lule Jesu, from Ancient Christmas Carols, and is introduced by the tenors and basses in their role as narrator. We are then introduced to Jesus, as sung by the trebles. The second stanza, sung by the altos and sopranos, is Mary's expression of concern for her crying son. At this, the Jesu theme is altered by the tenors adding a B-flat, hinting at what is to come. Which is then outright confirmed by Jesus through the voice of the trebles. Jesus weeps because he anticipates the crucifixion. The choir's response to this is incredible, the climax of the movement, the thrust of the spear echoing Bach's St John Passion and culminating in a B-flat from the tenors at the top of their voice. Melvin Cook, in his chapter on pitch symbolism in Britain's operas, notes that Britain associated B-flat with dramatic situations involving discipline. Here, the B-flat is the crucifixion. After the climax, the piece appears to mirror itself, but something has changed. Mary is no longer comforting Jesus, but it is the other way around. The final B-flat in the trebles, clashing exquisitely against the A-E-Lule, keeps the crucifixion in mind to the end. <laughs> 